two major categories of these uh, these cameras I'll be mentioned now. The first one is the automatic plate number recognition. Automatic uh, plate number uh, uh, recognition. The function of this is to capture, identify and capture and record the identity of the vehicle as they make a passage across the plaza. We power it with different devices. Uh, two major categories of these are uh, these cameras I mentioned now. The first one is the automatic plate number recognition. Automatic uh, plate number uh, uh, recognition. The function of this is to capture, identify and capture and record the identity of the vehicle as they make a passage across the plaza. This camera that I said it functions by recognizing the vehicle through the plate number. It also helps us to also classify it. What I mean classify it, whether it be a jeep or it's an ordinary car. And the position of this camera is like an eye view, eye level around the eyes. It's not too tall up there, not too high up there. Reason being that it can capture the object that is the vehicle, the cast, the past. Let's now join our correspondent, Victoria Idowu, who has been monitoring the situation for updates on today's proceedings. Thank you very much, BC. I really hope you can hear me again because uh, the panel is still sitting and in the past one hour, the MD of LCC, that's uh, Mr. Yomi Omomuwaso, has been given his testimony. <clears throat> now, so far he has said that uh, he's been ask, answering questions as regards the shooting that happened in Lekki Togate on the 20th of October 2020. When he started, he first gave certain documents and those documents were tendered and um, accepted in evidence. Also, it was admitted in evidence. He gave documents as regards some press release that were uh, sent out to members of the staff. He also uh, gave a hard drive that contained footage from the night of the shooting. Now, according to him, there are three cameras that uh, he's networked around uh, the Lecky concession company, around the toll gates and their facilities. Now, the cameras which is supposed to be, uh, that's supposed to have the footage, they're supposed to contain the footage of the night of the shooting. According to him, he said it stopped working at 8 p.m. that night. It all, he also said that it does not have the ability or the uh, audio ability of that camera was not activated. While answering questions from the lawyers, he also alluded to the fact that his testimony that he gave this evening or today is uh, what has happened and what he can ad what he can testify to as the truth. While answering questions from uh, lawyers, he also said that the allegation that they switched off the light on that night was untrue because it was required to be put on, but that because members of their staff had been called back because of the curfew imposed by the state government, there was nobody to put on that light. The testimony is still going on. He's still, still answering certain questions from the lawyers. It's back to the studio. You see.